Hey guys, Sean Terry here. Thank you for being here uh, this evening and I'm excited to share with you some incredible content that has literally changed my life 17 years ago. We modified it, shifted it, and made it better. And my goal uh, this evening on this call is to give you a business model during our current economic environment of what's going on that you can literally crush it. Also too, uh, my goal is to uh, let you know what is happening with the current market and uh, what is about to come, which I believe, and I've been doing this for 17 years, back in 2008, you know, 2005 when the market was crazy, but uh, I believe this is the greatest opportunity in real estate um, that we'll ever see in this lifetime. So. Um, if you can grasp what we're talking about in the business model, this unique business model that we're talking about, um, it's, I, I, I can't say the word guarantee, but I can say you'll be able to make more in seven months than you can in the next seven years if you're just working a regular job. So um, we got a, a full presentation. I'm gonna take you into websites. We're gonna answer some questions. We're gonna talk about the market. Uh, we're gonna talk about the business model. I'm gonna give you, uh, show you um, specific campaigns on how we find motivated sellers, literally motivated sellers where um, all you have to do is ask them a question, what is your asking price? And if they're in the money, which a lot of times they are, meaning that you can purchase the property at a deep discount, I'm talking 48 to 53% of the Zillow value. I'm gonna show you that tonight. I'm gonna show you the top um, 20 uh, hottest markets in the entire country. And then we're actually gonna pick a market and I'm gonna show you how we find buyers in that market, how we find the hottest buyers in that, and now I'm not talking about a, a Houston and Dallas and Phoenix and Austin and all those, uh, you know, Vegas or you know something like that. These big markets. I'm talking about these small markets, and I'm going to talk about the criteria um, that we look at where we do deals all across the country. I'm actually going to give you little case studies on example deals that we have closed recently. Um, that is. Uh, I give you the full address on them. I'm completely 100% transparent. Um, you can search them in the tax records and see that uh, of when it was, you know, when it was uh, essentially sold. Um, and the bottom line is, as these are real deals that we have done and we do it every day. So uh, again, my name's Sean Terry, and I've been uh, in as a real estate investor now for the past 17 years. Um, and I love real estate. There's nothing like real estate doing deals. Um, and I have morphed from doing deals locally to now doing deals nationally all across the country. And we got one, uh, one of the largest wholesaling operations that we do uh, deals in every major, every small market, major market across the guys, like small little towns that you've never even heard of, like Columbus, Georgia, right? Imagine Columbus, Georgia, a small little town. We've done deals there and all, all over the place. Um, and we're gonna give you the exact eight step formula, tactic, strategy that we use from closing a seller over the phone. That was a big obstacle for me. Closing, how do you, how do you get a seller to agree to sell their property over the phone? How do you get pictures, right, from the property? How do you get a buyer to see the property when you have the seller there? How do you how do you deal with tenants in the property if there's tenants to get them to see the property? Do you need boots on the ground and all these little markets across the country? Do you have to build relationships with different agents or boots on the ground in all these different markets? Do you go to one city, then two city, then three three cities? We're gonna answer all those questions. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So when we're done here, not only am I going to give you the business model in a step-by-step -step format, I'm also going to give you this, right? These are my free, two free, downloadable contracts that I'm going to give you. One of them here is a real estate purchase contract, and that is allows you to contract real estate, get a property under contract nationally, Right, and this one right here is what's called the assignment contract, where you can sell your, uh, you get to sell this contract. And the cool thing about this contract is, is I personally drafted it with our attorneys, drafted it up, 
And this is a no fee revealed contract, meaning typically when you have assignment a contract, um, your fee is essentially revealed. Um, and this uh, assignment contract is what we call the no fee revealed assignment contract. So stick with me uh, here tonight. Um, I'm gonna give you a, a place where you can download these contracts. And I can guarantee you this, that if you stay with me here tonight, you kind of block everything out and you turn off, you know, the, you know, all the social media and the TV and you just focus with me here for the next, you know, 45 to 60 minutes, maybe 70 minutes. Um, I'll go as fast as possible, possible. I'll respect your time. I try not to talk any fluff. I'll just get right into the points. Um, it's because I know you're busy and I know your time's valuable, but I will not disappoint. I will make sure that I will deliver the best content that will make the highest impact in your life that you can, you can walk out of here. And if you're a real estate investor, whether you buy and hold properties, whether you fix and flip properties, whether you are a wholesaler and you wholesale properties, you want to stick with me on this because once you understand what we do, it will change everything. You wanna buy and hold properties? This is the best method to build a portfolio. Listen, if you wanna do fix and flip, what is the hardest thing on fix and flip? Getting inventory and also cash flow when you're fixing and flipping properties. If you know what we're talking about, cash flow becomes non-issue and you're getting deals direct to seller, which is the best you can get. And if you're a wholesaler and you've been doing deals and you want to ramp it to the next level and you might be an individual wholesaler just trying to get your first check, you might be you know, someone that's uh, done a couple deals and you're a, a solopreneur and you're a one-man show and you want to try to build it into a business, we'll talk about that transition to go from you know, uh, an, an employee of a job and then transitioning to go full-time as a real estate investor. There's steps and processes uh, to make that happen, to be able to do it. So then you can become a full-time operation. So let's get into it. Um, let's not waste any more time. I've done with my spiel and let's get into the actual content of what we're going to talk about. All right. We're going to talk about how to generate $775,457. You know, we did that over about, about a 30 to 45 day period. Day trading houses nationally, right? We talk about day trading houses. What does that mean? It means that we are literally contracting and selling our contract with a matter of days and weeks instead of fixing, buying, contracting, fixing up, selling like you see on HGTV. It's a very fast method of contracting and selling the contract, contract and selling the contract. And it's literally almost like day trading properties. And we're using a unique eight step virtual formula to do it. The beautiful thing about this is you won't need funding. You won't need private money. You won't need a lender. You won't need uh, to uh, raise capital from private lenders. You don't need credit. You don't have to have ever your credit check. And you can do this with no experience. I don't care if you've never bought a house before. You can contract a house and you can sell that house via an assignment contract. You can sell that contract. You can do that nationally, even if you've never bought a house before. And uh, we have people who are just on a, a, an actual coaching call, um, a group coaching call that we did. And uh, a guy got his first check, um, first deal he's ever done. He doesn't even own a house. $49,000 first check he's ever got in the business. He was so excited. He shared his story. And it was like, it, it was amazing. All right. So what you're going to learn? <clears throat> first off, real estate market update and prediction. What the heck is happening with the real estate market? It's on fire. You know it is. I know it is. You know, you talk to people right now trying to find a house. They can't do it. Prices are uh, uh, going up like crazy. Houses are selling in a, uh, in a matter. I mean, just putting them on the MLS is going crazy. The question is, is it sustainable, number one? And number two, you know, what is the prediction? What's going to happen with the real estate market? We all know that there's millions of people still unemployed. We see those unemployment numbers that come out every Friday, right? We still know that there's a lot of people that have had forbearance. We'll get into that. There's a lot of people in foreclosure. We'll get into that. And what's going to happen and how is that all going to play out? The next thing we're going to talk about is the current status of the real estate tsunami. And what I call the real estate tsunami is this, this pent up properties that are currently uh, people that haven't paid, and I'll give you the exact numbers, 
haven't paid their mortgage or at least 90 days or 60, 90 days late um, or in foreclosure that are in forbearance or that are essentially pending eviction. We're gonna talk about that too. What's gonna happen with those? When is it gonna happen? And where is the opportunity where not only you can help them out of the situation, but you can make a profit too. So it's a win-win situation all the way around. Then we're gonna talk about the eight-step process of day trading properties nationally, step-by-step. Step. And then what I'm gonna talk about is the greatest opportunity of our lifetime on how you can make more in seven months than you can do in the next seven years. Now, that's a bold statement, I know. <clears throat> but the bottom line is, is that I'm gonna show you proof of some actual deals that we've done that literally will show you how we've made more in seven months. Uh, than the average person can make in, in, in seven years. So here's just some wires that have come into my account. I just uh, pulled screenshots of. You got 148,000. You got, uh, these are actual real deals. These are assignment contracts only. These are no funding, no credit check, no experience, well, way experience, of course, but 25,000, 120,000, 23,000, 14,000, 25,000, 4,500, 27, 17, 100,000, 39. These are deals that we do on a regular basis. We just closed, I was just on the phone with uh, two properties we closed this morning, $90,000 in revenue today, today alone. That's not including the rest of this week. That's not including what we did last week or the week before or what's coming. You know what I mean? I'm talking hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in revenue by following a model that we're talking about. So, uh, you know, who am I? I'm gonna give you a real quick, quick uh, brief synopsis. First off, I am a God-loving family man of two beautiful daughters, happily married for the past 23 years, Flip, been flipping houses now for the past 17 years, transacted over $300 million, currently flipping over 25 deals a month nationally all across the country. I created a podcast. This is how I got into education. Created a podcast back in uh, 2010 just to kind of share and just kind of talk. But this is before even podcast was podcast. Um, and uh, currently right now we actually broke over 13 million listeners on 196 different countries. Uh, created the Flip to Freedom Academy, which is a online uh, course with nine best-selling courses, over 20,000 plus members, best-selling author. And also I own 760 uh, uh, student housing units across the country. So um, that's just a little bit about me, but here's the, here's the real important thing is that when I first was introduced to real estate, um, I don't have a college education. I joined the Marine Corps when I was 18 years old because no college would accept me because I was a CD student. I was a great athlete, but I was a CD student in high school. So I joined the Marine Corps, traveled the world, and I actually bought a book called, uh, uh, what's it called, No Money Down Real Estate from Robert Allen when I was on ship going to the, to the Persian Gulf in the Gulf War from uh, 1991 to 1992 uh, when I was in. But what happened was, um, is I, uh, at that point, fell in love with real estate. And I didn't right start off get involved in real estate, and I didn't start right then. It actually took me from 1992, 10 years later, to 2003. I still had it planted in my head that I wanted to do real estate. Um, and I had the opportunity and I started, uh, I, I actually found myself in a job and I was uh, 33 years old. I had a brand new daughter at the time um, and I found myself in a job and I, that I hated. Now, you know, you might be in a job right now. You might have a, a situation where you're going to work every day. Maybe you're one of the people been laid off and I, you know, I feel sorry for the situation and you want a job and you want to work, but you're in a situation, maybe been, you know, um, been in that situation where you've been laid off. But uh, I, I was in a situation where I hated my job. I didn't like what I was doing. I wanted to do more and be more. And I read that book way back when in 1991 and 92, and I wanted to be successful, but for 10 years, I literally did nothing from bartending and this job and that job and all these stupid things finally um uh i i was going i was selling pools and landscaping at the time and uh i was going to an appointment on a saturday afternoon um and i uh i i literally i had to work practically seven days a week to um to make ends meet and i was going to a pool uh, appointment 
and I would go to someone's house, I'd draw out their landscaping, I'd draw out their pool, and I'd sell them on a pool, right? And that's what i do, and, that's, and I'd try to make a commission off that to make it happen. Um, but as I was going there, I was driving down the 101 freeway, going up to Litchfield Park up here in Phoenix. Anybody here's in Phoenix, you know what I'm talking about. And I was flipping through the radio station, and they have a radio station here in Phoenix called 15, 1510 KFNN, and it's a financial news radio, it's an AM radio. And I was listening to it, and uh, and a guy came on. And he started talking about how you could flip houses, and you could do it with no cash and no credit, just like I said earlier, and with no experience. And he said that, and uh, and when he said that, I initially had a um, a negative reaction, meaning that's impossible. You can't do that because my perception was at the time that you had to have cash to buy a house and cash to renovate a house and cash to sell a house, right? That all took cash or funding or you had to raise capital to make that transaction happen. That's what I knew, right? And I took my, now remember I was broke living month to month selling pools. So I thought I knew what I knew, right? And I was like, oh, that's a joke. That's what I was saying. That's it. What, what, what is he talking about? So, and then he, he, uh, he basically said, you can do this. And he had examples and people tell their stories of how they did this with no cash and no credit. And they flipped houses. And one guy said, oh my gosh, it was incredible. I made $5,000. And another guy's like, I made $15,000. And I made $20,000 in less than 30 days. And right then and there... Right, I'm originally from New England, so I'm a, a born skeptic. My dad was, um, you know, known in the family for being like the devil's advocate. He could find something wrong and everything, point out something wrong and everything. Um, so I kind of took on that nature, and I was like, "What? Who's going to listen? You can't do that. The only way you can make money in real estate is you have to buy it, fix it, and sell it, or buy it and hold it for a long time and make money on rental. That's the only way you can make money. What? What the heck is this scam? Initially, that's why I said this is a scam. And I turn the radio, I'm driving down the freeway, going to my pool appointment so I can make a couple bucks. And I turn the radio because I thought I knew what I knew. How dumb was I, right? So what happened was, is I'm driving down the freeway and I, from this point, I know it was God's intervention. I was like, you know, um, it was God's intervention, gut feeling, something, something, I don't know what exactly happened. But I turned the radio back and I continued to listen to what this guy had to say. I just wanted to find out, you know, is it real? What, is it something, right? And I've been let down before by other opportunities. I've tried things before and they didn't work. And I had this, you know, this bad, you know, bad thing that, I, that took the past, you know. And uh, I continued to listen to what he had to say. And he explained a concept of wholesaling. Right? And, and, and maybe you do know what wholesaling is. I'm going to explain it a little bit further in, in, a, in a couple slides of exactly what it is. But he explained the concept in the, uh, of wholesaling, and it changed everything for me. In wholesaling, where you sign a contract with a seller for a price, and you have a contract and a date for 30-day closing date and a price, and then you can con sign a contract with a buyer, or you can assign or sell this contract. So you're not actually closing on it. You don't have to fund it. You're selling your contract for a fee. Now, if you get the property at a really good price, you can sell and you can get a, you know, a, a, an assignment fee of 20,000, 10,000, 5,000, 7,000. Our average assignment fee that we do nationally is a little over $18,000 for deals that we do. We've done, uh, uh, you saw that $158,000 assignment fees, $92,000 assignment fees, $90,000 assignment fees. You know, all the way down, I've done $3,000 assignment fees. It just depends on the deal. But what happened was, is like that concept changed everything. And what we've done, and what I'm about to show you, is we have taken that concept and put it on steroids. We've taken, taken that concept, perfected it, and, be, and, and we had to morph, and we had to change because of COVID, because we couldn't transact, we couldn't go to someone's house and meet them in person and, you know, and during this whole pandemic and everything. So what we did is we changed actually back in October of 2019, thank God. And, uh, and then by the time the pandemic hit, man, we were cranking because we were doing deals all over the phone and it was amazing. Everything we do is over the phone right now. 
Everything's transacted over the phone. The contract, the closing, our closing agents, the buyers, the, they see the property, they fund it all over the phone. And we never have to look at a property. We never have to fund a property. It's, it's like, it's amazing. It's the most amazing thing. So we've taken that concept and put it on steroids and made everything faster. And it's crazy what you can do and happen. So let's go. Um, so real estate market update. Now, make sure you guys stay on to the end. I'm gonna give you these two free downloadable contracts at the end. I'm gonna give you a link of where you can download it, so stay with me. You don't want to go anywhere without these contracts. All right, let's get into a real estate market prediction and update. First off, what are the key factors that drive the real estate market? Number one is inventory drives pricing. Interest rates are incredibly important because houses, if you reduce interest rates, becomes more affordable. You have more people jumping in the market. Uh, we talked about the mortgage forbearance in the rent moratorium. We'll talk about that. Government programs. There's a government program that just came out two weeks ago, two weeks ago now, and you've got to hear about it because it impacts you in the real estate market if you are in real estate. And we're going to talk about that default tsunami. So first off, let's talk about inventory levels currently inventory right now is at historic low numbers right now if you look at the bottom right hand side of the screen we currently and i'm going to give you the exact number that was just pulled from last month of the inventory numbers is insane record low now what is this the comparison of 2008 now, we all remember 2008, if you're in the real estate market, you know, there's foreclosures everywhere. It was like, it was like, a, a, it was like a bloodbath, right, of everything. Well, in 2008, there was roughly 12 plus percent of the, uh, of uh, actually 12 months of supply of inventory in the market. Currently, right now, we're literally close to like less than one month supply of inventory. So check this out right here this is um i want to give you this right here this right here is uh the current median home price um and the active listings on the right hand side look at that number right there four hundred and ninety three thousand and eighty active listings now wait wait a minute nationally nationally four hundred and ninety three thousand nationally now, let me give you a perspective. In Phoenix in 2008, we had, we had 50,000 just in Phoenix in 2008. So we have 493,000 nationally. That is a 52% decline year over year. 52% decline, which is already historically low inventory numbers. Historically low. If you look at, look at this right here. It's just, it's absolutely insane. Our inventory numbers have just absolutely plummeted and you know it. Average days on market, 54. Some areas I'm gonna show you here in a second across the country are uh, even up to seven days. Median home price, $370,000. Now I was updating these slides here from, from a, a couple, several weeks ago um, and I was looking at median home price. It jumped from 307 to 370,000 median home price, 16% year over year, 16% on real estate year over year. So what is happening? Inventories are at record low, active listings, days on market are just flying off the shelf. And now is the time to be in real estate. If you are not participating, if you're not in the game, if you're not talking to sellers, if you're not making offers on deals, you are missing the greatest real estate market in history. And I wanna tell you this, it's only going to get better because there's gonna be a flood of properties. It's coming soon. I'm gonna give you some dates and what to look for. Um, but the bottom line, it's only going to get better for you. Imagine having uh, your phone melt with distressed sellers that want to sell their properties and you can help them out of the situation. So here's the thing, government programs, I'm going to talk about this one real quick. It's going to, sh it's going to show the fueling of the real estate market. And I'm going to take you to an actual website with a government program that just came out 
that's gonna impact all of us as real estate investors. So first off, government program, uh, potential impact of Biden's 15,000 home buyer tax credit. So if you haven't heard uh, uh, the uh, Biden, uh, who's uh, the current president right now, um, has issued a $15,000 home buyer tax credit to help millennials get in properties because of affordability. House prices are increasing like crazy. So for to combat the, uh, the affordability issue, he's gave a 15,000, which again is fueling this buyers in the market. And you know, if you talk to anybody, I know you're in real estate, right? You know it. People can't find houses. You can't find rentals, right? You can't, I mean, houses are going flying off the shelf. I'm gonna show you a unique strategy when we get into it here of how these small little markets where there's no competition, you can, I mean, it's, it's insane what can happen in, I'll show it to you. All right, here's another one, interest rates. These are current rates. I just pulled them less than an hour ago. 30-year um, fix, 2.892% and 15-year uh, fix, 2.772. Um, if you look at this chart right here, you can see that um, rates in 1981 got up to 15.8%. And obviously our low, our rates right now are way super low at the bottom of the scale. Back in 1798, there were 8%. 1869, there were 4.2%. 1945, they got down to 1.7%. And we are down at these low rates again right now. So what the Fed is talking about is not touching rates until 2023. They're gonna start looking at the rates in 2023. That's why the stock market is going like crazy. Dow hit all record highs over 34,000. NASDAQ over 14,000. S&P all time highs that we're seeing right now. Why? Because you see that because the interest rates are super, super, you know, super low in the market you, and you, you stimulate, you put, you know, trillions of dollars in the market. What happens is the, the short term impact Guess what? You you just see a rise in all the equities, right? Like Apple, right? Starting to they're starting to go off. Tesla st stock starting to go off like crazy. So you're seeing it, and uh, it's because of that. Now, real estate uh, forecast. This is from Realtor.com. What's happening is they're looking at as a real estate prediction uh, of their research. They have a full research before it, and here's just some key indicating points. Number one is mortgage rates are gonna stay between 3.2 and 3.4%. They're gonna stay around 3%, which will still fuel massive demand. Uh, existing median home sale price will appreciate 5.7%. Uh, we just saw last year it appreciated nationally 16%. I think those numbers are a little shy. I think we're gonna see even higher numbers. Existing home sales up 7%. We're gonna see that if, they're, if the inventory, right? We only have 493,000 units nationally of inventory currently that you can buy right now um, and uh, and so we're gonna see existing home sales so what does that mean for us as real estate investor is that the market is on fire you've got to get in the game or if you are in the game you've got to get efficient you got to get effective and you got to be able to do more deals nationally across the country because you if you get pigeonholed in say Phoenix Here's the thing. I got three texts today from guys that I haven't talked to in a while from other buyers. They say, hey, listen, I'm looking for properties. And if you got any, I know you're one of the big wholesalers. You know, can you can you send me any deals? I got another guy. Hey, can you send me any deals? I need deals. Can you send me any deals? I got another guy. Hey, can you send me deals? Can you, you know, these guys are in Phoenix in a super competitive market. There's no inventory and they're literally just scraping for the bottom of the barrel for deals. We're not. You won't be either after you watch what we're going to talk about and what we're what I'm going to teach you and show you. You will never scrape for deals again because the entire United States is your oyster. You, you have the entire market, which is amazing. So current status of the real estate tsunami. What is going to happen? Are foreclosures going to hit? Well, let's look at the facts. Here's the numbers. Here's the current facts. 2.7 million homeowners are in forbearance. So what does forbearance mean? That means they raised their hand and they told their lender that they're not gonna pay. So 2.7 million homeowners said, raise their hand and said, I'm not paying. That's what they have on record right now. 
Currently, four plus million outside of the 2.7 uh, homeowners are late on their mortgage. So they have not paid their mortgage. Four plus million homeowners have not paid their mortgage or late on their mortgage. Four plus million. 8.4 million renters are facing eviction right now. 8.4 million. That means they haven't paid rent. And there's over 200,000 businesses that have permanently closed. These are the facts these are the current numbers uh, right there. So what does that mean for us in the real estate market? And I'm gonna talk about here in, in, a, in a second of what is to come and when is that forbearance gonna be lifted. But let's say theoretically, you know, the moratoriums are lifted or something happens, right? And, and, and it's not pushed out anymore. What we're gonna see is to the tune of 1.7, to over 2 million properties hit the market. Now, how many do we have right now? 493,000, 493,000. What if 1.7 million properties hit the market and we only have 493,000? What it's gonna do is gonna shock the market. Let me give an example. Back in 2008, we had 3 million people that were that had foreclosure notices and roughly one and a half million actually went to actually it was 800,000 my fault went to foreclosure 800,000 went to foreclosure and the market crashed you saw you saw foreclosure signs everywhere it was a bloodbath a bloodbath so what if 1.7 million they hit the market or go into foreclosure you know, who knows what's gonna happen? It's hard to predict. It's different than 2008, because in 2008, no one had equity. Today, they have equity. So they're not just gonna abandon the house and walk from it. They're gonna need to sell it quickly to recapture the equity. In 2008, it was all about short sales. I got a short sale of property. A short sale means that the owner owes more than the mortgage and they go back to the bank and they ask him to take a reduction in the mortgage price. Right, the house is worth two hundred thousand, and they owe two fifty. Right, and they want to sell it to try to sell it for one seventy. So they have to ask the bank to take that hit, that seventy thousand dollar hit, eighty thousand dollar hit. Right, to be able to be able to sell that house. That's a short sale, asking the bank to take it. It's a long process, takes a lot of time. Today we don't. All the properties. People aren't going to walk away from properties like they did in two thousand eight. What's going to happen is they're going to list them or they're going to reach out to us and our phones are gonna blow up. It's already started to happen. Our, you're gonna send direct mail and the response is gonna be insane. You're, if you're doing online marketing, your response is gonna be insane. Every, all the response, it's gonna be insane with people looking at stuff, because here's why. And it's called an impending event. What's an impending event? An impending event is a foreclosure date. Typically, in most states, it's uh, anywhere from uh, 60 to 90 days where someone has to cure once the notice is delivered. You're in foreclosure, you have 90 days to cure. You have to cure it within 90 days. And if that 90 days, the house goes to auction and they, uh, the bank will then recoup and take that property back 90 days. That's the impending event, 90 days. Well, guess what? It's hard to sell your property within 90 days. Well, maybe, maybe it'll be quicker. Some is gonna sell if they act right then and there. They stick their house on the market. Some people are gonna wanna stay in their house. Some people are gonna want to, uh, you know, are gonna procrastinate and wait, and they're gonna wait till they're 45 days out or 30 days out, and guess what? Your phone's gonna melt off the hook, and these people are gonna wanna sell their property, and you're gonna be right there in the mix if you follow what I'm talking about. Now, real estate default tsunami. Mortgages delinquencies reach 20-year high. Bumpy waters ahead. New mortgage data suggests wave of foreclosures is coming. 30% of Americans missed their housing payments in June. Almost a third of renters missed house payments this month. Mortgage delinquencies caused by the coronavirus will exceed great recession levels, according to this forecast. Homeowners stopped paying mortgages in record numbers. Serious mortgage defaults will increase fourfold by mid-2021. We're already there. Now, we take that along with the current unemployment rate. Now, 
The U.S. reports what's called the U1 unemployment rate, right? The U.S. unemployment rate. This is, is the U6 unemployment rate. Now, the U6 unemployment rate, like the, they have the official unemployment rate and they have the U6 unemployment rate. The U6 unemployment rate does not count the people that have uh, dropped out of the workforce and stopped attempting to get a job. Maybe someone tried and they tried and they tried and they tried and they just gave up and they're just kind of waiting, right? That U6 number is over 10 million people are currently unemployed in the United States. That's why you have this weird, weird recession. You have on one side, you have the stock market going crazy, you have house prices going nuts, and you have the other side, you have 200,000 businesses shut down, and you have people unemployed and struggling. It's like the weirdest recession thing ever. You know, you know, 80% of the economy, 70% of the economy is fine. And the other 10, 20% is struggling big time. That's why I'm just trying to stimulate. But what does really $1,400 every, you know, six months do? It really doesn't do a lot for the bottom line. Okay, so how to make a fortune. We're going to talk about this. Day trading properties, right? Now, I want to show you something real quick. Um, I want to show you, uh, this is important. One of Biden's, um, things that he's doing here. This just came out recently, uh, here. Um, and you can see, uh, CFPB proposes mortgage servicing changes. It hasn't been put in effect yet, but they're proposing it right now. Um, and you see right here, this is from the official consumer financial protection bureau, Right? It's an official website of the United States government. So millions of homeowners are expected to exit forbearance in, in, in the coming months. What does that look like? What does that look like? So they, let, me, let me just look. They have three solutions they're proposing. But let me just go here. It says right here, millions of families are at risk of losing their homes. As of February 2021, there are nearly 3 million homeowners behind on their mortgages. It was a higher number than I expected. With an estimated 2.1 million is in forbearance and at least 90 days in delinquent. If current trend continues, there may be 1.7 million such loans in September 2021. Preventing foreclosure helps all modern communities. So they are freaking out. They are freaking out that millions of homeowners. Now, we have 493,000 in inventory. And there is about 800,000 people that went in foreclosure in 2008. Now they have millions and millions and millions of people in a situation where they might lose their housing. We can help. We have a solution. Have you ever heard of the, the statement, if you find the biggest problem and you can find a solution to the biggest problem, you can make a fortune. That's what I'm talking about. This is a massive problem. Now, here's how they uh, are trying to um, trying to get out of this right here. That's what they're, they're trying to do. So they're going to try to give borrowers time, right? So the 3 million borrowers, what they want to do is extend till tip, December 31, right? December 31. Now, it was initially June. Now they're talking about extending till December 31 of this foreclosure moratorium, uh, this forbearance thing. That's number one. Number two is giving the servicers options where they have the ability to make and rewrite what's called a 40 year loan. So what they're, what they're attempting to do with these borrowers now is that they're going to work with them to take all their back payments and their current mortgage and make it into a 40 year loan. Here's the issue um, when you kind of dig into this. First off, you know, they're going to have to go, they have to dig up all their paperwork. They're going to have to go through a rewrite process. They're going to have to go through a qualification process. Um, they're going to have to, these banks are going to have to invent now these 40 year loans and they're going to have to rewrite these loans to someone that's already hasn't paid. 
um, which, which if you know anything about notes or anything like that, they, banks don't like, they like to have grade A paper. Now, if you've attempted to do a refinance or purchase a property or foreclosure, or, I mean, uh, um, like a refinance or purchase a property, you'll know that the underwriting guidelines right now are incredibly difficult, or they're like crazy, crazy difficult. You have to have 750 plus credit scores to get the best rates. You have to have, I mean, there's a whole laundry list of things you have to do. So we're asking the banks to rewrite these loans for someone that's not paying a mortgage on properties that might be over leveraged, who knows, depending if they have second debt. So there's a lot of things involved in that um, that I predict is not gonna come to fruition. It's a good idea, but in all actuality, if these banks can actually make that happen, there's still gonna be millions and millions of potential foreclosures of people that just say, I'm not doing that. Think about it, people raise their hand, is, are, are, are uh, millions of people raise their hand said I wanna be in forbearance. There's another millions of people that are just not paying, period, that's it. And the third one is we're gonna keep them informed of their options. We wanna keep the borrowers informed of their options. That is their solution for these millions of homeowners behind on their mortgage, right? Or my other prediction is this, which they've already been talking about. Um, I don't know if it's really a prediction, um, but essentially it's called a, um, it's called a uh, fourth stimulus, right? It's a fourth stimulus, another X amount of trillions of dollars they're gonna, they're gonna stimulate um, and uh, for I, I don't know exactly how they're going to do it, but I, I think something something else will be coming down the road. All right, so let's talk about let's talk about here you and how you can make a fortune day trading this unique using this unique concept day trading properties in this current economic environment with a super hot real estate market and the pending foreclosures what's about to come. So first off, if you understand what day trading is, day trading. Uh, essentially you, um, and especially stock options, right? Stock options in particular relates very well to what we do in real estate. An option is the right to purchase a stock at a price down the road at a certain, and over a certain period of time. Like for an example, if I buy Tesla and I buy, uh, you know, 750 calls, call options, right? I can buy the right to purchase Tesla at $750. Now, if Tesla goes to 780, I have the right to purchase it at 750. Now, what this does right here is our purchase contract is almost like an option. It gives you the right to purchase the contract, purchase the house at a price that you contract in a time frame to transact that deal, right? Now, the beautiful thing about it is you can contract a $100,000 house for 50 a $200,000 house for a hundred, a 400. We just, we just did a contract on a house in um, uh, San Francisco. Uh, uh, it was a townhouse in San Francisco in the art district down there. Um, uh, we contracted for, I believe it was $900,000 and we contracted to sell it or assign our contract for $1.1 million. So 900, 1.1. That's a pretty good payday on an assignment deal. Now what we do is we can sell our option for a price, right? We can turn around and sell that. So if if, if Tesla goes from 750 to 790, we can sell our option and we can recoup that profit. Exactly the same thing. And it happens in a matter of days and weeks exactly like what we do here it happens in days and weeks because you're not having to fix the property you're not having to do it. all you're doing is selling your contract you're selling it and then someone else will fund it and buy it and fix it and rent it and deal with all the things involved with owning real estate we're just basically contracting and selling our paper it's the most brilliant concept scalable concept um that I've ever seen, it's amazing. All right, so next thing here. The beauty about day trading houses, you do not need a real estate license unless you're in one state and that is uh, Illinois. In Illinois, you have to be a real estate agent to do over two transactions 
Um, they want, they want, they're trying to get all the transactions to go through real estate agents, right? To do that, number one. Number two, can be done anywhere in the United States, right? You can transact and do deals anywhere in the United States, which is awesome. Now, what does this look like in a normalized market? Um, most people will sell their property with a realtor. 95% of the population will sell their property with a realtor. Um, with uh, distressed properties, right? We have 5% will typically be distressed and they'll sell uh, to guys like us. Well, 5% of the entire United States is millions and millions of properties. Now, with this default tsunami, with what's going on in the market, with these millions and millions of potential foreclosures hitting the market or and they're starting to hit the market, um, we're going to see where it's going to be different, where 85% are going to sell with realtors and 15% um, are going to be contacting us with as triple the amount in a normalized market that we're going to see uh, of, of a massive, massive increase. Now, what does that mean for you? Let me give me an example. Let's say you get a property under contract for $100,000 right? And it's $100,000 closing in 30 days. And you have that option to purchase the contract. You contract it to close in 30 days. Then you find a buyer. I'm going to show you a little software we use to find buyers all across the country. It's amazing. Um, and you find a buyer. And I'm going to actually show you how to find the seller too. I'm going to show you what we do to find sellers. The two best methods we find sellers to get your phone to melt. It's amazing. So uh, then we assign our contract, right? We contract over 100 we assign it, let's call it, let's call it a $180,000 property. And we sell that contract for 20 grand, right? And it's an assignment contract for $20,000. So what happens is uh, the buyer closes on the transaction per the contract, right? And you get the assignment fee of $20,000. That means you get a check in the mail. You get a check just like this, $20,000. So that guy, who was on the radio that I was talking to at the beginning of the, when I was telling you a story there, he had guys of $5,000, $10,000, It was true. I was the moron. I'm the one that was skeptical. It was true. And my first check that I ever got, and when I contracted house and I found a buyer and I sold the contract, that first check, $11,008 in May of 2003. I happened to listen to this guy's radio show in about April. I uh, bought his course. It was about $500 course. I didn't have the money at the time. I borrowed my wife's $250 first premier card. I had my $250. It, these were starter cards, first premier card. I called the guy up and I said, hey, I got two credit cards. Can you put it on? And he said, sure, no problem. And I bought the course. I got the course and there were literally um, VCR tapes. You probably don't even know what those are, right? They are VCR tapes. You put them in the VCR thing, you put it on. And here's the amazing thing. This was 2003. He recorded the content in 1992. He had a stack of, uh, of things in his garage. He decided to get on the radio and sell them. He sold them all. Never heard from the guy again. Never heard from the guy. But he, in, the, in these old crusty videos that were black and white from 1992, he explained the concept of, uh, of, uh, of basically getting properties under contract and it changed my life. And I thank God every single day that, uh, that, uh, that he decided to clean out his garage and sell those courses because it changed my life. All right, how you can make more in seven months than you can make in seven years, okay? So here is an example, 1122 East Amherst Lane, Deer Park, Texas. Now, Deer Park's not a large, large market. It's not Houston, Phoenix, Dallas, any of these big markets. But this right here, $39,000 in a deal that roughly took, you know, anywhere from 15 to 20 days. Contract price, 108. Assignment price, 147, 147,000. Here's another one, 122. 08 East Atkins Avenue, Kansas City, Missouri. Another one, 35,800 contract price, 71,000. Uh, we um, assigned our contract for $107,000 uh, to $35,800 profit. Here's another one, 3359 Bartlett Road, Akron, Ohio, contract price, 80,950, uh, assigned it for $97,000, $16,000. $50 profit. Here's another one, 85 Colonial Circle, Easton, Maryland. It's right outside of um, um, 
right outside of DC. Contract price 160, sold price 187,000, $27,000 deal. Now, all these deals took less than 30 days to close. All these deals um, are, are done, you know, I mean, if you look at them, 27, 16, 35, 39. I mean, these are, Matt, you, you, maybe you close these deals the next couple months right here, right? That is more than the average, I mean, 27,000, that's more than the average American makes in an entire year. And you can do it on a deal, on a one deal. Now, what's the steps involved? There's an eight step day trading houses business model. Number one is selecting a market. Number two, and I'm gonna get into detail, I'm actually gonna bring you into a couple markets and show you some cool sites. Uh, selecting your best market, finding small markets to do deals. Top two best ways to find sellers that wanna sell at a discount. They will normally take 48 to 53% of the Zillow value, imagine that, right? Imagine talking to a seller and you're talking to him and say, hey, what would you like to get for the property? They give you a number and it's, you know, 53% of a Zillow value. That'd be crazy, huh? That's what happens all the time. So how to make strategic offers over the phone, finding the best closing agent, um, how to get floods of buyers uh, wanting your property, how to get a buyer to sign your contract and how to get paid using these uh, funding strategies. Basically how to get paid without using capital your capital to do it. Now, again, there is no funding required, no cash or credit to buy, fix, sell a property. No credit checks will ever be done um, on you. Can be done on a part-time, but this is like the perfect side hustle. If you have a job right now and you wanna work around your job, let me, let me give an example. We have our part-time, she's a teacher. She works part-time for us, right? She works for me part-time and she's amazing. This last pay period, for the last pay period, her on a part-time basis, she works on lunch breaks, she calls sellers. Um, on the weekend, she calls sellers because she has some free time and stuff like that. But she uh, closed over $72,000, just her, out of all my sales reps, she's part-time, she alone did $72,000 on a part-time side hustle, $72,000 in revenue in the past two weeks. Just her, not including all my other team. Um, which is amazing. This is the perfect side huff, hustle if you're looking for a side hustle. Um, profit can come very quickly. Business can be done from anywhere in the world. Business uh, can be successful in up and down markets, which is, uh, which is awesome. Um, reduce the risk uh, of failure by paying for speed, right? Business can be scaled for unlimited income. Business can be started uh, with minimal capital, which is great. Now, um, I'm going to uh, talk about important disclaimer right here because I'm going to show you some other people and their success. But I want to um, read this to you. All incomes you'll hear are, uh, are hear about are real and verified. However, the incomes depicted represent some of the most successful people, participants, and the majority of individuals are less, meaning they don't do anything, they don't take action. These figures should not be considered as guarantees or projections to your actual earnings and profit. It's understood that your success is predicated based upon your effort, which requires hard work, desire, and diligence. So, I don't want this to influence you to go, oh my gosh, I'm going to guarantee it. I'm going to do this. You have to bust your butt. It's a business. You have to work your butt off. All right. Again, here's some proof of that, of deals we've done. Here's what wires into our account or my account actually, uh, 148,025, 120, 23,014, 25, 4,500, 27,000, 17, 100,000, 39. These are deals that we've closed. Um, over a 45 day period, $775,000 just by assignment fees. Now, if you look at this right here, is another one, 14450 North uh, 31st Street. This is in Bellevue, Washington. This profit, 148,000 on one deal. Look at, you can see the wire coming in right there. Top one, 148,211. Well, that's the address right there. Contracted for 130,789, sold it for 279, smoking deal. Now, here's this one, uh, SIS, um, almost one year in the real estate investing business. I just want, just shy of making 100,000 wholesale fees. My first year acquired two cash flowing properties, debt-free while pregnant with my fifth child and my youngest being one year old, oh, and I plan a dope ass real estate conference in the meantime. <laughs> so she is a rock star. What an incredible, 
Uh, shout out to Sean Terry for providing invaluable, life-changing information. Here's another one from Enwar. This is quick motivation for anyone still looking to do their first deal. One of the easiest wholesale deals I've ever done. Between a few texts, conversation, all in all, the deal took roughly five hours from contract to close. That's roughly $13,148 an hour. Um, amazing and he all started with uh sean terry and flip to freedom academy which is awesome here's monica another great one um sent over to chelsea who's uh, our support rep which is amazing um i know you've been uh i know it's been a while but i'm circling back to say thank you to sean terry again last week i closed on a lot um that i purchased two months ago for seventeen thousand, sold it for 75. so there's a lot of creative things you can do which is amazing so the first thing we want to do is select a state right we want to have rising property prices, affordable rental, rental properties, population growth, employment gains. And I'll just make it easy for you. High rental occupancy, growing shares of rental. All the, we want these, want these things in a state. Or, right, and we want to make sure that we pick a small market within the state. And it has to be um, at least an hour or, or so outside of a major market. Um, and flippers in that state. So let me, let me let me explain that real quick. So let, let's see, let's go let's go find a state. So let's go let's go have some fun. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna go to Realtor.com research hottest zip codes. Now this is gonna tell us the hottest zip codes. These right here are the top ten hottest zip codes. If you get, if you dig a little bit more deeper, you can find the top twenty hottest cities by rank and they'll give them to you right there by by super hot and you can actually click on them and you can do a bunch of cool stuff on realtor.com but i'm going to just take you here real quick these are the top 10 hottest in the country and it's cool because it gives you colorado springs 13 days on market right two hundred eighty seven thousand dollars at median home price now we make anywhere from five to ten percent of the median home price that that's a good assignment fee for the median home price, right? So, and this one's gonna be a little bit lower. Reynolds, Ohio, 204,000, 17 days on market. Rochester, New York, 18 days. Melrose, Massachusetts, 19 days. Uh, South Portland, Maine, uh, 21 days. Uh, we got Topeka, Kansas, 17 days. Hudson, uh, New, uh, New Hampshire, 22 days. Worcester, Massachusetts, 21 days. Springfield, Virginia, seven days on market. And look at that, median home price, 553000 I like this market right here. Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, this is a bigger market. I'd stay out of here. I like Springfield. Springfield's a good little market. So let's say if we wanted to target Springfield, Virginia, what would we do? Well, we got this cool little tool called REI Automator. And we can go in and do a lot of cool things. First off, we can go through, if we're going to pick Springfield, right? This will show us all the proper, you know, properties here in Springfield. There's 34,000 of them. Now, what if I wanted to find motivated sellers in Springfield? Well, I can click filters right over here. And this is a quick list choice. And I go here. I could find all the properties that are vacant, right? Let's see what that is. 134. These are, these are, these are 134 properties that are vacant, right? Here's the list. Ones that are liens, pre foreclosure. Now, pre foreclosures. It's not a. It's not a number right now. It will be soon, and there will be a time when we're going to select this list, and there's going to be a whole list of them, and that's the list we're going to target. Now's not the time, right? Guess what? Cash buyers. You can focus on cash buyers. Six hundred and sixty cash buyers in this area that buy properties cash, right? High equity properties. Let's see, look at high equity. Look at 19,000 high equity properties. Free and clear. 9,410 free and clear. I'll tell you the best list here. Bankruptcy, divorce, tax delinquencies. These are properties that haven't paid their property taxes. No results for that one. Flippers. Now, this is good. Flippers are people who bought a house, uh, cash, fixed it up, and now it's turned around and, and sold it. These are great contacts to buy your properties because they're investors. They fix it up, and now they're reselling the property. Now, let's keep looking on here. We got failed listings, senior owners, right? Look at that. Senior owners, 7,491. Here is my two favorite lists right here. We got tired landlords, pre-probate, deceased owners, meaning you have someone that 
has a property and has passed away. And now, guess what? There's 833. These, my friends, are absolute gold. Absolute gold. Now, what's cool about this is you can turn around. You can select this list right here, right? You can select that list. Now, if we look at here, this is close to, uh, I believe it's close to Alexandria. Yeah, Alexandria right here. So this is a good little market. So you can pull from Alexandria um, and you can pull from Springfield right here to do deals. Now we know this is a super hot market. You find a property in here, you'll be able to sell it at top price fast. So what would we do? If we're gonna, if we're gonna, if we're gonna pick this and we're gonna pick pre-probate deceased owners, now we can go over here and we're gonna say, hey, listen, I wanna turn around, I wanna do a postcard campaign and I wanna do a postcard and I wanna send this postcard and I wanna send it out. I wanna send this postcard. We have the best uh, postcards we target and guess what? In a matter of days, they're gonna get a postcard and your phone is gonna ring off the hook with those sellers in that particular area, which is amazing. Now you're wondering, well, <clears throat> And, it, and, we, and we, we'll, just, we'll just keep on going. Okay, I get, get too excited here. So we've got the cities, right? We got the cities and that's how you pick a city. You pick one off here, right? You go in there and you make sure it's at least an hour from a major market, all right? And then it's, you can pick that list. The, the, you got the tax delinquent list that I like. And also I like the, uh, um, uh, the pre-probate deceased list. Again, it's gold, especially in these small markets because no one's talking to them. No one's targeting them. Um, and they will get signed up. So the next strategy, so the, the two strategies, direct mail. I just showed you direct mail and uh, I'm gonna show you a uh, pay-per-click advertising. That is where um, uh, it's online marketing where people go to a website and fill out a form. So let's, let's go into that real quick and check that out. So first off, what the heck is pay-per-click advertising? If you don't know what it is, um, if you go here, if I go to Google, right, if I go to Google, <clears throat> did I spell that wrong? <laughs> well, I don't know what I spelled there, but so if you go um, sell house fast. So picture uh, someone motivated, right? And they want to sell their house fast. Sell my house fast. I want to sell my house fast, right? They look in there, bam, what comes up? These are ads, 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 these are ads. You can have your ad right here. So look at this, this is Tennessee home buyer. What if this right here, if I click on here. Now, this is a Tennessee home buyer. You can either click here, right? See, it's a click to call. That's, that turns into a lead. Or you can type in an address, a zip code, Type in name, address, information, get my cash offer, right? Here's information, Tennessee home buyer, right? Testimonials, get it sold. But this right here, this right here, turns into a lead and you get leads 24 seven, 24 seven leads coming in. And these are some of the best leads because someone literally typed in that they want to sell their house. Now there's hundreds of keywords you can target. Um, you can sell your house fast, you can sell your house by owner, you can sell your house ASAP. These are all separate keywords. Sell my house for cash, right? And you got this one that comes up right here, right? And this one, boom, what is it? Let's look at it. You got this one, max cash offers right here. Type it in, guess what? You can call or you can uh, generate a lead. That gen generates a lead. This is an incredible way to get motivated sellers, some of the best motivated sellers to call you um, and you get leads coming in your business, so which is uh, which is huge. So that is step three: marketing strategies. Marketing strategy. I showed you a direct mail. Those are the two absolute best ways to get your phone to melt with sellers and get leads coming in 24/7 in your business. We got Google AdWords talked about that. Here's one that came off in off Google AdWords. This was off 2246 East Romea. Drive in Anaheim, California, $120,000 profit, contracted it for $500, sold it for $620,000. Small markets is the key, right? Talked about mailing lists, talked about postcards. Here's, a, here's another one right here. 
So this one's in 1407 uh, Adams Street, New Albany, Indiana. Contract price, 105000 That's a $17,000 deal in the small little town, New Albany, Indiana. All right. So now a seller, now you got your market, you got, let's say you send a postcard out, postcards we're talking 40 cents, right? To send a postcard, you send a hundred, it's like 40 bucks. You send 500, it's 200 bucks, right? And you get your phone to melt. Uh, Google AdWords, you can start a campaign for as little as 10 bucks a day, right? And you get leads coming in from sellers. But what happens now is you pick the market, right? You pick the state, you pick the market, you know, like that, that one, one in Virginia, Springfield, Virginia. And then you send a postcard and you set up a little campaign, right? And to target in Virginia, and you, you kind of do it when the keywords we talked about. And now the phone rings with a seller. What do you do? Well, there's a four step process, right? Four step process to get uh, a seller to sign a contract over the phone, to be comfortable with you to sign a contract. First is a deep dive. You gather information from the seller about them their magic problem, why they want to sell their property, what their first asking price is, and you're going to get deep on the repairs and the condition of the property. And then you're going to get the second asking price. You're going to say, Mr. Seller, let me ask you a question. I know we went through all the repairs. And it looks like there's about $30,000 of repairs on the property, you know, based upon what we're talking about here on rough numbers. But, you know, if I was going to pay cash and I was going to take care of all the repairs and we could close in your timeline, you don't have to pay any commissions or closing costs, and you were going to get a net number to you. What would be the absolute rock bottom net number that you would accept um, to get this deal done. So I got to go talk to my underwriter, you know, and uh, I want to check with him, but I just want to come back with him or a good number to see if we're even in the ballpark. So what's the minimum cash you take for the property right now? And then you shut up, right? And they're going to say, well, you know, bam. And whatever that number is, you're going to look at that number. You wouldn't believe more times than not, they're going to say a number and that number you're going to look at and go, holy cow, this is 53% of Zillow, 58% of Zillow, 45% of Zillow. You would not believe some of the properties we got under contract. Insane deals all across the country. Then what you're going to do is step, that's step one. Step two, you do a set where now you're going to have to uh, essentially um, um, do your research on the property, get all your information, and you're going to set an appointment for them to get back on the phone within 30 minutes to an hour. So you're going to set that, you're going to set that appointment so they get on the phone 30 minutes to an hour. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go through and you're going to research and do doc prep. You're going to, you're going to create your, um, your contract, right? And you're going to pull your contract together. Um, and you're going to get all that information because you're going to assume the sale. You're going to get that contract signed. And what's going to happen is you're going to do your research and figure out, you know, what's the absolute max where you need to be to get this deal done. Then you're going to get them on the phone and you're going to go through and you're going to talk to them about solving their problem, right? and uh, making an offer on the property. And you're gonna get a meeting in the minds and get the contract signed right there in the spot. And a lot of times it happens where they'll call in the morning and by, by the afternoon, the property's under contract. They call, John, one of my other sales guys in, in the back room over here, yesterday uh, contracted a deal, where was that deal? Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach. It's a condo in Myrtle Beach with actual ocean views. It, the whole, from, from, from the first conversation to actually getting the contract signed was like an hour, an hour and a half, right? And he, he rang the bell. We have a bell inside there. Oh, I rang the bell, right? Rang the bell. He's all excited. Yeah, I got the smoking deal in, uh, in there and literally gave the guy what he wanted for the property, which is amazing. Four-step process. We have a script, a detailed script, just like the script that goes through and it goes through exactly what to say, what questions to ask and how to do the deep dive, do the set, prepare and research and close the transaction. My whole sales team uses that script to close deals nationally across the country. All right, now, now you got a contract signed with a seller. You're excited. You got, yeah, I got a contract signed, <laughs> right? Myrtle Beach. What do you do now, right? Well, you gotta, you gotta get it to a title company, right? So they can open escrow and they can pull a title search on the property. And the title company, what they do is they close the transaction. They handle all the money and all the paperwork. So here are three of the top closing, national closing companies that you can use. WFC, Close Line Settlements, and Fidelity National Title. Uh, those three do deals nationally, and we use them all, um, um, and they're, they're great. So that's your closing companies. 
Uh, step six, finding a buyer. So how do you find a buyer and what do you do? Well, let me show you. Well, first off, we're gonna go into RA Automator. Well, we showed you here already, right? We're gonna click back here, click back here. And let's, uh, let's go into search over in Springfield. Now we're gonna go back to filters again. And what we're gonna do instead of that, we're gonna go to, where is it? Uh, where's cash buyers? Is it right in front of me? Oh, right here, uh, cash buyers. So we're gonna go to cash buyers we're gonna select this list of 660 people. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip trace them. We're gonna skip trace them and we're gonna be able to skip trace these. And we're gonna make sure, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure their ownership info. We're gonna make sure they're not an LLC, but they're an individual. So there's 310, right? We wanna make sure because you can't, you can't skip trace um, LLCs. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the individuals that bought these properties cash and we're gonna go through, we're gonna skip trace them and we're gonna send them a text message. And we're gonna send them a text message where they can, uh, they can actually get a text um, about the property, which is, uh, which is cool. Or, you know, if, if the list is small enough, we'll just pick up the phone. The other thing we do is we go back to Realtor. We love Realtor.com. Go to Realtor.com and we go up here, find Realtors, right? And we got uh, Springfield, uh, Virginia. We'll go over to Realtors over here. I'm going to go Springfield, Virginia, bam. I'm going to go search and I'm going to go up here, works with buyers. I'm going to search recent activity, right? Um, most sold listings. So this lady has the most, she has that one star review, but most sold listings sold 769 and she works and she's been in business 32 years, right? And uh, guess what we're going to do? We're gonna pick up the phone and call her. We're gonna scrape that number and text her. We got this guy right here, 570. Do you think he has buyers? Do you think this guy has buyers for a deep discount property? What about what about Aaron? Do you think Aaron has buyers? What about here? What about Dean? You think Dean has buyers? Wes has buyers? Casey has buyers? You will sell your property by talking to this one page right here. If you if you talk talk in Texas one page, say I have an off I have a, a deep discount off market property in uh, in uh, Springfield Virginia I'm looking for buyers Do you have any buyers I'm telling you your phone will blow up They'll come back to you and say Yes I have buyers What's the price What's the situation And you'll take it from there So the other question is How do you get pictures from the seller Ninety nine percent of our deals come from pictures from the seller We put the pictures in a Google uh, Google Photos and then we send it out to the seller, which is, I mean, send it out to these agents, which is cool. So we text them, we text the cash buyers, simple and easy. So how do you find buyers? Are we an automator? That's how you do it. Um, we arrange a showing with a buyer. We set up a 30 minute open house with the seller and we create a buying frenzy on the property. So we don't want to get one person through there. We want to get 10 people through there. So we set up a 30 minute open house and we have them go over there. Now, why do we like working with realtors? We love working with realtors because they have a code of ethics, meaning they're not gonna circumvent the deal, right? We've had one realtor, actually two realtors, of all the hundreds and hundreds of deals we've done nationally that circumvented a deal, and both of them, we went to their brokers and filed complaints. I think one of them lost their license. So realtors do not want to break the code of ethics at all. And uh, so we love working with realtors. A realtor will go in, They'll bring their buyer, they'll look at the house. We make sure they don't talk to the seller, anything about arrangements or price or anything. If they want to talk about price, they talk to us and they come back and they send their offers. And that's uh, exactly how it works. So, and it works great with realtors. So funding, we do an, either an assignment where we sell the contract or a double escrow, which we do very rarely. I think we've done one double escrow in the past 150 transactions. So, um, uh, um, so, and we, we should have done actually assignment on it, but uh, we had a new title company that uh, was had issues with it. So uh, assignment of contract, which, which we sell our contract, which you don't need to have any funding whatsoever, right? You just assign or sell your contract and most title companies know exactly what that is. So here's the deal. Imagine, imagine if you could follow this process and do deals all across the entire country. 
from the comfort of your home or, I mean, I, I have an office here. I'm gonna tell you though, most of my team works from home. I used to have a full, I, I have a 4,000 square foot office I'm standing in right now. And in my office here, um, I used to have my whole team, my whole team was in here, in here all the time. But during this whole pandemic and everything, everyone worked from home. I said, listen, if you hit your quotas, you guys do good. I, I don't care. You guys can work from home. And everyone's been actually doing it incredibly well and crushing it. Um, so imagine having the freedom to do what you want with who you want. It can be done anywhere in the world. You can, if, it, do, it doesn't matter. Um, imagine making ridiculous amount of money, right? right? Just with your laptop and your phone. Um, I mean, we're doing $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 deals. And imagine you can deal deals from anywhere in the world. So it gives you the ability to be mobile. It's the absolute perfect side hustle. Um, and you got to listen to some of these stories from some of these other people right here. But, huh? Okay. Well, well that's right. Well, quit. we didn't set up the audio on there. So, um, so I'm just going to go right into actually, uh, actually, so you guys can see exactly what we do here. All right. So, if you imagine doing one to two, three deals a month, um, imagine running full time business, closing five to 15 deals on a monthly business basis. Um, so remember, no experience needed, no credit check ever, no funding, no purchase of real estate, no funding for renovations, no contractors needed, no real estate license needed, unless you're in uh, Illinois, which we, we stay out of Illinois, we actually don't do business there. No need to meet face to face with seller, no need to look at property, no technical computer skills. Uh, no need to tr traditional brick and mortar office. Can be done part-time basis. You can profit very quickly. Business can be done from anywhere in the world. Business can be done successful in up or down markets, which is great. Reduce the risk by failure by paying for speed, meaning um, you can uh, know exactly how to do this without trying to figure it out yourself, which I already did. Uh, business can be scaled for unlimited income. Business can be started with minimal capital. So I wanna introduce you to a course that I put together on our entire process called Remote Millions 2.0. Um, and this is a 2.0 brand new version of Remote Millions. And what we do is uh, we talk about how you can learn the cutting edge strategies to confidently do one to two deals or more a month remotely using none of your own uh, cash or credit. Um, total immersion, interactive, hands-on, four week masterclass you can dive into. It's ready, available right now and you can start cranking it out. This is the ultimate nationwide only course that you want to follow. I'm going to tell you why. Number one, here's the thing. <clears throat> there are maybe, I can, I can count. I can't even count. There's hardly any real estate educators out there that do teach what they do. I'm probably the only one out there that actually teach what they do every single day that's been in the business for 17 plus years. I own real estate and I, I'm literally, you know what I did this morning? I was on the phone with a title company for about an hour. We're closing two transactions to get those transactions done. I was on, well, on the phone with buyers this afternoon for another transaction we got going on. I was working with our team to get our San Francisco property handled. I am knee deep in the business. I handle all the marketing. We, when I target cities and we figure out cities and do the strategic marketing, marketing, I create the marketing. I manage our Monday morning meetings. I do the hiring of our team to make sure we get the right people involved. I'm in it, in the business, on the business, working in the business all day, every single day. And my hobby that I absolutely love is this, I love teaching. Real estate is my primary source of income. This, for me, is a side hustle, but I love it. We do masterminds, we do live trainings, I do educational courses, and it's a blast. It's not like work. I love changing people's lives. Um, and it's an amazing thing. So here's the deal. I challenge you, there's not many people out there that actually teach what they do. There's people out there that will say they do, but they've, they've done it in the past. It's an old method, or maybe they have a family members that do the business that they try to suck off, you know, or whatever. Maybe they have other people that do it or whatever. The bottom line is <clears throat> there's not many people out there that do it, um, do what they teach. So what I want to share with you, and especially this particular method, 
um, and it works phenomenally. All right, so this four-week masterclass goes in through all the eight-week process. We talk about selecting the city, finding the distressed sellers, setting up your AdWords campaign, campaign picking the lists, picking the, uh, the postcards, which postcards are sent, how to be able to track that, how to get the leads coming in, how to talk to the sellers and make offers remotely, what specifically you say, you get all the scripts, all the spreadsheets, how to analyze a deal, how to know what to offer on a deal, right? Everything when it comes to selling a property in lightning speed, what do we say to the seller? How do we position the seller? How do we position the agents? How do we position the cash buyers in the property to go look at the property? When we're, I'm in Phoenix and we got a deal that we're closing in in Springfield, Virginia. How do we position all that so we don't get left out and get screwed out of the deal? There's a way to do it. Success, and then we have successful student case studies. We got trainings in there. We got actual audios of our team closing sellers over the phone, talking to sellers, and it's amazing. Um, it's the ultimate uh, new, fresh, up-to-date, right, I mean, for the pandemic, the whole, I mean, the whole thing of what we do and how we do business is exactly how you wanna do business in our current economic environment, our current uh, uh, health environment with our world right now is crazy. Um, so uh, it's awesome. All right, Remote Millions, it's a 997 value but hold on with me here. <clears throat> I'm going to give you a deal, a smoking deal of a lifetime. And it comes with, or actually, uh, we're going to waive the activation fee. It's called a license fee of REI Automator, which is that cool software. You need that software to be able to do business uh, across the country. So we're, we're going we're gonna to waive that license fee, and we're going to give you access for a month. Um, and then it's $97 a month for data. And that's the data that's pulling the list and all that data um the uh the data companies um and, it, and it's it's cheap so we used to get our data from a company called list source and it was eight cents a piece this gives you you know ten thousand records a month for 97 dollars or point zero 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 nine seven cents they do it for eight cents so for ten thousand records it's eight hundred dollars for this is 97 it's a it's a smoking deal it's the best um, content, best uh, data you can get out there. So you get remote millions, 997 value bonus, REI automator, one month access, 994. Plus I get on coaching calls every other week with you. I just did one yesterday and we get on the phone and get, and we get on actually on Facebook live and uh, I answer questions. We go through stuff. We talk, we, I mean, yesterday we talked about the difference. Here's what we talked about yesterday. We talked about the difference between sending an offer and presenting an offer. Do you know the difference? Do you know what the, uh, the success rate of sending an offer and the sex success rate of presenting an offer? There's two major difference. And then we also talked about and defined a specific lead. Is the lead a response? Is a lead with a house that has too much equity? Is there a lead that comes in from these, you know, these these marketing channels? You know, what what what's a lead, right? How do you define it, and how do you define that in your KPIs, which we call key performance indicators? Those are tracking your numbers, right? So I get on. That's what we talked about yesterday. It's a killer call. It's awesome. So if you want to learn more about that, we do that every other week. I get on the call with you and answer questions, which is awesome. Um, that's a, that's a, a $4,998 value and we're not done yet. Also to you get two tickets to the next extreme freedom. We just had our extreme freedom this past January. We have another event coming up here in September and another event coming up in January. <clears throat> and you are more than welcome to come join us to our live events. They are off the hook. Um, if you want to get more content <laughs> in your brain on a weekend, and then see a ton of other people that are doing what you want to do and surround yourself by like-minded people. Our events are off the hook. That's a 394 value. Plus, um, I did a, uh, a five-day pre-recorded intensive uh, with a group of a small group of people, bringing them through the course, uh, and uh, that's all pre-recorded. You can dive into that. I answered a ton of questions. That's a ten thousand dollar, three hundred and eighty-two dollar value for all that. Plus, we got unannounced bonus of. Um, all of our prized forms, scripts, updated contracts, all the information, um, unannounced bonus, bi-weekly, deal or no deal. So I have my right-hand man, Brandon Simmons. Uh, he was my C, 
COO of my company for years. Uh, he runs our one of our coaching uh, departments now that we do. Um, and he gets on and every other week does what's called deal or no deal um, and has a blast doing it. It's $1,997 value. You can bring a property and he will actually analyze it for you. Also, too, we have a private members-only Facebook group. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of members in there. Um, you get access to that. People are talking about their deals and their business and all sorts of stuff. It's really cool. All that, right? Aria Automator. You got uh, um, um, the, the, the course, bi-weekly calls, extreme freedom tickets, five-day coaching, all price forms and spreadsheets, bi-weekly live, deal or no deal, access to members-only Facebook group, $13,873. Dollar value. So we went out and asked all the current members and we said, hey, what has this done for you? What do you think it's worth? Right? What do you what what do you what do you what should we price this at? What we should do? Most said this is a this is like a coaching package course. You not only get you where you get on every two weeks, plus you know, you get Brandon every other week. So every week you get to plug into something, plus you have the most incredible content that teaches the details in the step-by-step, -step, most said $4,997, we should price it. The lowest was 1997 that they that uh, I asked and they priced it. So 4,000, well, if, if, um, if the guy that I uh, was driving down the freeway and I bought his course, if he had it 4,000, I wouldn't be here today. At 1997, guess what? I wouldn't be here today if he priced it at that. And if even if he priced it at the retail price, of 997 I wouldn't be here today. But I signed up for the course, a $250 credit card for my wife, a $250 credit card from, from me, Capital One credit card, or um, a first premier credit card, and I signed up. <clears throat> and if you use the promo code, we have a limited amount of spots left, you get a 50% off, use the promo code, coupon code REMOTE50, Remote 50 at GetRemoteMillions.com, GetRemoteMillions.com. Uh, it's only $498.50. It's actually less than I paid back in 2003 when I get started, and it is a thousand times better. You will not get VHS tapes. You will get online, high-quality, digitally mastered product that you can dive into, and it will change your life. So if you go to GetRemoteMillions.com, get remotemillions.com, use the promo code REMOTE50, it's only $498.50, or you can use what's called PayPal Credit. PayPal Credit um, allows you to purchase, <clears throat> and you pay, and they finance it, and they put on like really small, like $15 or $20 payments, um, and, uh, and you can get your first deal, and then just pay the thing off, which is amazing. So, or you can do a three pay, of $197.50 if $498.50. We want to make this 100% affordable for everybody so there is no issue. So, 30-day um, money-back guarantee. If you don't think this is the absolute, what do they call it, bee's knees? Bee's knees. If it, if it isn't incredible, then you can ask for your money back. So, here's your options, right? Here's your options. And I hate losing time and I hate losing money. Those are two things I hate to lose. I hate to waste time and lose money. So you got your options. You either A, can try to figure out the right marketing, figure out Google AdWords, good luck with that. There's about 17 books you have to read to figure out Google AdWords. Uh, figure out which postcard works, which list to work, which city to target, go ahead. Um, and uh, figure out what to say to the seller. Developing a script that works. You can figure out that. You're going to waste a lot of time and a lot of money trying to figure it out. Not knowing what to say, how to calculate an offer. Guess what? If you don't know how to calculate an offer correctly, you might have a smoking deal, a $100,000 deal that crosses your desk, and you're not going to know what to say or do, and that deal is going to go to someone else smarter that's educated and they invested in themselves. The next one. Not selling for the highest price possible, leaving money on the table. Um, we just had a student, right, <clears throat> that skipped that part, um, and he left about fifty thousand dollars on the table um, after looking at that deal. I went and analyzed it. It was at the coaching call. I uh, went and analyzed that deal, looked at it, and go. And I said, "Here's, I'd sell it for this. I, I would sell it for like I was like one hundred and ten, and he sold it for fifty-five. 
and he left about fifty plus thousand dollars on the table. So knowing what to sell it for is critically important. Um, being unorganized and losing deals, trusting the wrong people, structuring the wrong deal with your partner, right? What do you pay their agent? What do you pay the realtor that brings the buyer, paying too much? Valuating, valuing the property wrong, not knowing how to get paid, not knowing how to deal with the title company, what to say to the title company, how to structure a deal with the title company, what fees you pay with the title company, all that. How do you get the deal done trying to figure it out? There is nothing more expensive than a missed opportunity. And I can tell you right now, I can tell you right now, right now, there is no time to mess around. There is no time to mess around. There is no time to mess around, right? There is no time because the market is on fire. There's no time to contemplate, to consider, to evaluate, to discuss, to try to figure out. There's no time for that. The market's on fire and the foreclosure pending, you have some time. If they extend it till uh, December, you have some time to get yourself together, learn this and position yourself for 2023 to crush it. And in the meantime, you can make, guess what? More money in the next seven, uh, seven months between now at the end of the year, right? <clears throat> than you can make in the next seven years if you follow what I'm talking about. So you don't contemplate, don't consider, don't evaluate, you lose the money. Now, here's another one from Manoir right here. <clears throat> Hold myself accountable. Want to make $1 million this year. That was his goal. There's some good checks, right? Here's another one close to another deal, $5,500 profit. This is a picture of you. Here's an, imagine getting a wire like this, $40,847 in your account. That'd be exciting, wouldn't it? What about this one right here? Here's another one that came in right, from a PPC campaign, pay-per-click yeah, marketing campaign, didn't even know about it, Anthony didn't know about pay-per-click until he met me, $34,220. All you gotta do is get, go to getremotemillions.com, getremotemillions.com, use the coupon code getremote50, only four ninety eight fifty or a three pay of one ninety seven. dollars getremotemillions.com. Now, people had questions. What if I'm already a flip to freedom product owner? Good, more power to you. Um, it's amazing. Uh, it's almost like, you know, iPhone. iPhone comes out with a iPhone 12, right? I'm sure they're happy you're uh, an iPhone 11 member, um, but uh, they're, I mean, we don't have any like discounts for, this is a brand new product that, that has come out. Um, but we appreciate it <clears throat> and you'll have access to our other, other trainings. Uh, can I do this in my state or small town? Absolutely, your state and small town works, unless it's Illinois. How much startup capital do I need to get started? Man, if you started with just a couple hundred bucks um, to get started, you, you'd be fine. Um, just getting started is the key. We give you cheap methods, uh, we give you free methods, cheap methods and paid methods to get started. Uh, and you can do that to get up and going. What if I need help? or have a question, uh, we have our coaching calls and we have an Apple-like support at Help at Flip to Freedom that you can reach out to Chelsea and our team out there um, and they will be happy to bend over backwards to uh, to help you and we get nothing but rave reviews about our support. I've heard that some states don't allow wholesaling. That's Illinois is the only one that's the answer to that question. Or, uh, well, not, they don't now, you just have to have a real estate license. Are uh, these stories real? Absolutely. Come to our live event and you can meet the people um, and you'll know they're real because you'll see them and go, holy cow. How long before I get my first check? I've seen people get their check, first check in 14 days. I've seen people get their first check in six months. Um, determining how fast you go is determining how many leads you get and how many people you talk to and how fast you implement. Um, how much time does it take? Um, you can do it part-time, just like uh, Amy, who did in the last pay period did $72,000 in revenue. Um, she worked uh, part-time, she worked at lunch, she worked on weekends, she worked after a couple hours after she got off work. Um, can I do this in Canada? Yes, you can do it in Canada. You can be in Canada and flip houses in the United States, right? But you can't, obviously, I don't, I don't teach how to do deals in Canada because none of, our, none of our, our softwares work there. Uh, what if I'm a real estate agent? Can I do this? Absolutely, you can do this if you're a real estate agent. Real estate agents are great because they understand the transactional side of it. You're just gonna put a different hat on. Instead of representing a buyer and seller, you're acting on your own behalf as a real estate agent. You're contracting on your own behalf. 
The next one, what if I'm not computer savvy? No problem. Um, the, uh, the, uh, it's fairly, it's not that, it's not that really difficult. We have step-by-step -step training programs at work. Do I need help? Uh, do I need to line up funding to do this? Absolutely not. All right, go to getremotemillions.com. Let's just go there. <coughs> So if you go to Get Remote Millions, you'll see right here. Make sure you put the coupon code. What's the coupon code again? I forgot. Coupon code is uh, Remote50. Let's see if it works. We have a limited amount of Remote50 coupons we're giving out for this. So if it doesn't work, okay, that there you go. That's Remote50. So it's four ninety eight fifty, or you can do a three pay too and remote 50 it will click on that it will bring it down to 197 uh, it's a three pay of 197 you can check it out but here's everything you get um, part of this and here is your free gifts right here if you click here you can click the download here's your contracts you can get them right hither right go to getremotemillions.com getremotemillions.com you'll land on this page um, you can sign out here, coupon codes remote 50 for a limited time. Um, if when this coupon's gone up here, then the, our promo that we're doing right now, uh, is no longer active and it'll be full price, right? Um, we'll be at the 997 price. Um, so here you can go here and get the free download. So, um, Chris, do you have any questions on your side? Denise. Hi, Denise. Are we calling the sellers or do you tell us how to get our VAs to call the sellers that will work for us? No, you, uh, first off, you have to call your sellers yourself, right? So you can learn the business. And then if you so choose to hire a VA to be able to do it, you can, you can do it. But I tell you, once you hire someone, you go into management mode and now you're trying to manage them. Um, but if you're going to, send direct mail, if you're gonna run a pay-per-click advertising campaign, um, then you wanna be able to talk to those leads coming in for sure. So uh, I would highly, highly, highly recommend um, that you talk to the sellers, you get them under contract and you do the business. Um, I, I, I remember I had a, a group that came in and they said, we're gonna pay you $100,000 <throat> and we want you to help us hire a whole team and I want you to teach the team and I want them to just work. And then I want, you know, you can be with us for like two months and then we'll take it from there. The problem is, is they don't know the business. They don't know the business. They've never done a transaction. They don't know how to do a deal. And there's a lot uh, when it comes to doing the business. So you gotta learn the business yourself, talk to sellers, get deals under contract. And then when you're ready, you can hire, uh, hire a VA. Good. So that's from YouTube. Here's two more from YouTube from Paula. Paula. Well, we have full videos to explain in detail how to fill out the contract. So we go through and uh, step by step on exactly how to do that. If you have any questions, you can come on to do it deal or no deal. Uh, you can reach out to uh, our support team, have a question that way, or you can get on our live coaching calls um, that we do every two weeks. And then when does week, the first week start? It's immediate. If you start right now and you sign up right now at GetRemoteMillions.com, put the Remote 50 in there, you can have access to the course right now. That's it so far. Cool, cool. All right, guys. Get to Remote Millions right now before this promo ends. And uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for your, I really appreciate it. Have an amazing uh, evening and the rest of your day. And uh, go out there and crush it. So God bless.